again up to my old antics. Uh, this is pulsing a toroidal TPU bucking coil part two. Um, this is going to be a short video. Uh, the first video covered uh, the uh, uh, you know my setup and everything and showed you a, a particular effect. Uh, I just wanted to expand on that uh, with uh, some better results at a different frequency. Uh, right now I'm pulsing my uh, generator. I'm pulsing at uh, 32.1 kilohertz. Uh, same voltage level. It's 3 point something volts. Right now the amperage on the gate is 158.7 milliamps. Uh, the voltage applied on the drain source is 11.9 volts at 0.56 amps. And uh, this is the output waveform that I'm getting which is pretty incredible that's at 10x 5 volts divider and the voltage output on my diode cap 752 volts DC which is pretty incredible now something I wanted to show uh, Guslan you see that negative that white lead is the negative coming from my frequency generator that's on the negative of the power supply. So when I remove it, look at what happens to the voltage. Ahoy mate, just going up. Now I'm going to turn on my little bulb. It's a 110 volt 11 watt bulb. Made a nice flash. And now I'm at 56.2 volts DC steady on that diode cap. Here is the turn the light off. That's the bulb. That's the waveform on the output. Might be a little too bright to see it properly. Sorry about that. Trying to lower the intensity here on the scope. You can maybe see it a little better. I'll bring it up. I'll put it on the 2 volt divider. That's what we're seeing now. That's my waveform. Jeez. Okay. So, that's all I wanted to show you guys. Uh, maybe to show the input waveform on a 2 volt divider. So, now I'm going to try some different configurations with the bucking coil. I'll try it with go to lux mode. And then I'm going to try it with uh, just on one half of a primary and the other half shorted or not shorted. If there are any major results, I'll just make another little video. Thanks and have a good time. Bye now.